みんながそばにいる難攻不落What's up, everyone? It is your boy Mikachu, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the most hyped characters in Genshin Impact, Zhao. In this video, uh, we're going to be going over uh, Zhao's talent, weapon, what weapons good for him, his constellation, what artifacts are good for him. You guys probably seen it in a bunch of other videos, but you know I wanted to do one too for my boy Zhao. So let's jump into it. Alright, so for weapons for Zhao, there are a couple choices. We'll start with 4 stars. The best 4 star, in my opinion, I would say is the Deathmatch, which is what I'm using right now. I got to level 90. You got really high crit rate, which is really good for Zhao, and that lets you equip a crit damage uh, circuit, as well as the ability on Deathmatch, which gives you uh, unconditional attack and defense, and if there's only one opponent, you just you get a huge I wouldn't say huge, but 24%, which is pretty good. And if you decide to refine it, it gets even better. So this doesn't require any kind of condition. You just get that bonus right off the bat, which is really good overall. Another good choice is the Black Cliff Pole. Um, this is really good because it has that crit damage, has really high crit damage, so you would use a crit rate uh, circuit hat. Um, and the, its ability um, is okay and more like for Spiral Abyss in the overworld. It's not great for bossing. But with those three stacks, it can out damage to deathmatch. For a free to play weapon, I would say you go for the prototype Star Glitter. The reason that one is good over the other one, which I can't remember on top of my head, I think it's Crescent's Pike. The reason we want to go to the prototype is because you get that energy recharge substat, which is good for Zhao, just in case you need that energy recharge, because you want him in his ult form as much as possible. And also, the ability on Star Glitter is really good. You know that's always going to be up 100% of the time. So it's just really good for Zhao uh, for free to play. Now, for the five star spears, you definitely want to go for the Jade Spear, of course, which is his best in slot. You can't really beat that. You got crit rate on it. The effect on it is just really good for Zhao. You're always going to be hitting the opponent, so you're always going to have that stack. Um, another good one, I think, is the Skyward um, Pole, whichever one it's called. It's the Skyward Spear. Uh, that one's pretty good because it does have energy recharge as a substat. You probably will have to build... Um, hopefully get some god roll uh, artifacts uh, but it is another good choice if you do have that for Zhao. All right now for Zhao's talent I won't go into too depth about what he does as there's already been a lot of videos and of course he's been out for a while so a lot of people already know uh, what he does for the most part but what you want to focus in the um, the first talent you want to focus is of course his normal attack. As this level up more, he gets a better percentage for his plunge damage and his low and high plunge damage, so you definitely want to focus on this. The second uh, talent you want to prioritize is of course his ult. You want to get it at level 7, which is I would say the sweet spot because you get 2% uh, life drain, which is the lowest it can go. And then lastly, you want to work on his E or his just regular skill. Um, this does do a, a high damage, but the cooldown is 10 seconds, so you just want to prioritize this last. Okay, now we'll go over Zhao's Constellation. Luckily, he's fine the way he is at C0. You don't need Constellation, but if you would like. I, I suggest getting C1 at least. It's fun to have that extra dash. It's not necessary, but I like it. So what obviously what C1 does is that it just gives him one more of his E. Um, so which is pretty fun. It's, it adds a little bit more energy recharge. It's not that much, but it's a little more, but you get a little bit more flexibility if you have three. The second constellation, when he's not on the field, he's just getting 25% more energy recharge. That's okay, straight straightforward, but you definitely want him on the field more. C3 for him, he just gets three more levels for his E, which is okay. Now for constellation four, Zhao gets... When Zhao's HP falls below 50%, he does gain a 100% defense bonus, which is pretty good. And then for Constellation 5, he just gets talent uh, 3 talent for his ult. And then lastly, his uh, Constellation 6. While he's under the effects of Bane of All Evil, hitting at least 2 opponents with Zhao's plunging attack will immediately grant him 1 charge of his E. And for the next 1 second, he may use his E while ignoring its cooldown. 
this is pretty good, but this is what really makes uh, Zhao even better, but you um, only if you want to get him at C6. Now we're going to talk about what artifacts are really good for Zhao. So of course, everyone's been suggesting it, but you want to go two Veridescent and two Gladiator. This is probably the two best sets uh, for Zhao. Now, what to put on him. So if you're using a weapon that has a crit rate substat, you want to use a crit damage uh, hat. Um, and look for crit rate, attack, energy recharge, uh, flat attack even, just anything that would boost his attack. For the goblet, you want to go a Nemo damage bonus. You can go attack if you have better substat on a, an attack goblet, but preferably you definitely want to go a Nemo damage. And obviously you want to look for the same thing, crit damage, crit rate, energy recharge, flat attack, attack percentage. For his sand, you want to go attack, of course, and then the feather and flower is going to stay the same. You want to just look for those exact uh, substats to try to boost his attack as much as possible. I'll show you guys the overall stat that I currently have for Zhao, and then I'll show I'll do a showcase for everyone um, showing off my Zhao, so you can see uh, how much damage he does, and you can reference it. All right, that about wraps up the video on Zhao. I really like Zhao. He's definitely my favorite character in Genshin. If you guys haven't pulled him and want him, good luck, and hopefully you guys get him. If you guys already have him, hopefully you guys are having fun playing him and playing his playstyle. He's definitely my favorite DPS and, of course, overall character. I love his design and everything. So, yeah, and if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely like and subscribe. And also, I do stream on Twitch, so definitely follow me on there. I do have a Discord and a Twitter, so if you guys want to know when I go live, definitely follow me on there. But otherwise, have a good one.